Hey folks, welcome to Fishing Planet, my name is Lee and today I am going to show you guys how to catch uh, these ones, chain pikes, a chain pickerel in New York. I'm going to keep this one. So there are two ways of uh, fishing for these uh, these predator fish. Uh, you can lure fish them and float fish them as well. First I'll show you guys what I'm using for float fishing that is a value spin 260 with wing cast 2500 braid 0.1 millimeter line and a two odd casting spoon 14 gram so that is the setup for spinning now you can also use uh, lures jig hats or shafts work pretty good as well uh, unfortunately I did not bring a, a yellow shaft with me today because today it is a full sunny day uh, so I stuck with, uh, I tried a few with uh, with the white shirt, but it wasn't enough, so I stuck with a casting spoon. Two odd works, one odd works, narrow spoons work, and medium spoons work as well. I just do not go over two odd, that will be my advice. Alright, so where do we need to be? We are currently at the dock. And to our left hand side, there is a whole bunch of reeds over here. We got some lily pads up there, but the reeds over here are great. Let me actually lower my drag. So what you do is cast as far as you can, like so. And with this particular setup, you can reach like 63, 64 meters. I'm angling my rod a bit to the left, so that when I do my retrieval, the line will more go like this, so more in a parallel along the reeds instead of doing it like that. Because here, a chain pike love to hang out in the reeds and ambush it. So what you do is just a simple stop and go. So, oh, no, I missed that one. Already had one little blue silver bar. No, let's see, we can who won. Um, so lure fishing, quite easy. You can just do stop and go. Lift and drop will work as well, by the way. But once you reach 20 meters, uh, nine times out of ten, if you do get hooked on something, it will either be grass pickerel or a red fin pickerel. Those are not the ones that we are currently after, but they're still good. 37. 36. But this is just to show you guys a bit of the area where they prefer to swim in. Now you can also find them on the weeds to your right side and on the reeds there. Um, but typically it's more the northern pike spot than chain pickerel. Uh, you will catch them from time to time. But having that set. Still, the left is where chain pike prefers to hang out, and we have passed the 20 meter mark, so I am going to reload it. Give it one more try, and then we'll uh, switch over to float chain pike. So, again, angle your rod just a bit to the left so you get more parallel line. 63 meters again, good, and again, it is a stopping go. Now, currently I'm using a uh, red with white casting spoon. Um, it's using this one because it's still a bit misty and I did not have as many bites on uh, the yellow with the red ram spoon than with this particular one. Uh, in a second I'll show you guys also what I already caught so far in my keep net when it comes to uh, chain bike. So in general just uh, follow uh, the timeline of the map, uh, the weather uh, indicator, when it's peak hour, you will find that chain bikes also active and there, boom, we have it. Now you can up your drag 5 out of 6 with this particular setup and it won't break the line. Come on, do not let me lose this fish. I do wonder if it is a chain park or not because it is behaving a bit erratically. We'll see. This is definitely a pike. It's jumping. And over here, buddy. Yep, 
There we go. Chain pickerel. So, um, XP wise, money wise, pretty good. Not as much as uh, the walleye, but still pretty good as is. So, we are going to keep that one. And I'll show you guys what I've got on my fish keep. Uh, so far, I've got uh, six, uh, seven, sorry, seven fish in total. I've released the byproducts uh, grass pickerel and rat fin and one yellow perch. Uh, you will catch them from time to time as well. I have released those. Uh, there were a total of five, six in in total, uh, because I wanted to do by chain pack. I've got one trophy so far uh, on the casting spoon, two out full sunny, and uh, morning. I started at five, did not get a whole lot, and the trophy I caught a little past eight a.m. in the morning. All right, so that is for lure fishing. Now on to float fishing. So first off, as you can see, I already caught two on float fishing as well. First off, setup. Nero 390 with Prima 2500, Mono 0.25 millimeter line and hook 2 odd. You can use the hook 1 odd, but with a 2 odd you also have a more chance of catching both the trophy as well as the unique chain pickerel. Set your leader to 90 centimeters or 30 inches. And we are actually... Come on. Need to swap rods. We can fish from here because then we can get close to the reed. So, with this particular setup, you can actually reach the distance. However, what I always prefer, uh, if you've watched other videos or one of my previous videos, uh, 2016 about chain bike, this is still the same. So what you do is you walk up to here, you can go a bit like that. We have the cattails over here forming a perfect cross. What you need to do, cast in between and then just as far out as you can. Uh, you'll reach about 55 meters, 50-ish, 48. All right, where I like to fish is, you can actually already catch them at 50 or 48 or, but I actually like to start at 35 meters out and then roughly to 20 meters so so between 50 and 20 meters is where you'll have most of the chain pike or chain pickerel you've already got something nibbling there uh, if you fish a bit closer uh, say 20 to 15 meters out you'll get more grass uh, pickerel and red fin pickerel um, that said you can also uh, catch them at say for instance here at 35 uh, two odd hook, small minnows, so I'm currently using shiners work very well as well for uh, for chain pickerel. When you're low level you do not have access to shiners yet, unless you purchase them with bait coins. Uh, do not waste the money. Uh, save your bait coins, just go with uh, small minnows and that will be fine. So right now we notice that we did have some nibbles but it let go. So what you do then, oh. Yeah. Small nibble there. Hope I did not scare it away. What I want to say is what you do then is just run on one meter or two meters. And see if you can get some action back again. Now this uh, both setups can handle both the common chain pickerel as well as trophy as well as unique. So these are the only two rods or setups that you need to bring with you. Got quite a lot of action, but it's not truly going for it. Come on, take it. There we go. And we got fish on. Again, now do I up the drag. So on this particular reel, Prima 2500, instead of... Uh, Six out of six, you got eight out of eight. And you can actually put on seven out of eight and it will not break your line. And here we go again, another lovely chain pike. Awesome. So that is basically how you go after a chain pike. So uh, remember the ambush uh, predators, they are in a bit of the middle of the water, 90 centimeters. 
Uh, if the weather is very bad and you do not get a whole lot, go to 120 centimeters, but don't, do not go any further. If you go any further, you get into walleye territory and sometimes Northern Pike. Having that said then, um, so this is a, a pretty good way. 90 centimeters uh, is what works for me most of the time. Two odd hook to also uh, get trophy and unique. One odd will work as well. And just to give you guys one more look at, so far we caught eight. We got a total of 923 bucks, which is good. And again, once more setup. So for floating Nero 390, Prima 2500, Mono 0.25 millimeter line, Chevy Bubba hook two odd, 90 centimeter depth of 30 inches. And then for our uh, lure. Uh, we we'll use a, a lure rod, uh, lure fishing. Sorry, use a value, value spoon two sixty. Wind cast twenty five hundred. Braid zero point one millimeter line and a casting spoon two odd. Uh, this particular setup is exactly the same setup of what I'm doing for walleye. Only that with walleye you put a narrow spoon on it instead of a medium spoon or a casting spoon. So the exact same setup uh, will work for walleye uh, as well. And just do your stop and go, then you're good to go. Now with this one, uh, for walleye, works perfect as well. Just make sure that you put your leader depth on max to float. And then, just to show you guys walleye territory, instead of throwing off to that, is you throw more towards here. Uh, keep the lily pads to your left in the line of retrieve. And over there is, uh, is a good spot to do some float fishing for walleye. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, leave a thumbs up if you did. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you soon again with another video about Fishing Planet. Bye bye for now folks. See ya.